3D still photography is amazing and it's extremely simple to do. Just take one of the 3D capable Panasonic Lumix cameras and attach the 3D lens. The camera will automatically record both a 3D file and a 2D file at the same time, so no need to change any camera settings. Viewing the 3D files is just as simple. Connect up one cord from your camera to a 3D capable TV like a Panasonic Viera and view the 3D files. It really is something you've got to experience. Now, when you're shooting 3D images, you may want to overemphasize the elements of depth. Now, I've got a beautiful row of old trees here from a plantation in southern Louisiana. And I want to shoot right down those trees in order to emphasize that progressing line to give me that draw of my viewer in, not only 3D, but 2D as well. So my shot is going to incorporate this beautiful bow of trees and I'm going to make a quick image for you. One of the things I really like about this camera system is I can incorporate other camera features into 3D, meaning instead of just this color photograph, I can now use the monochrome function and start adding a little more atmosphere to this really cool 3D and 2D shot. I see the 2D image on the back of the screen here and I'm going to put it in the My Colors mode and flip it to the monochrome color setting and get a shot like this. Pretty cool, huh? Now the 3D version is going to have an experience that will separate that photo into layers, if you will, that draw the eye deeper and deeper into the frame. When I view this in 3D, here's what I see. The items that are closest to the camera appear to be on a layer that floats a little closer to your eye. Items that are towards the center of the frame and towards the middle of the depth of our shot have their own series of layers and they seem to be spaced a little deeper away from the viewer. And then of course, the items placed in the frame way in the back are on their own separate layers and they're pushed way back towards the background of the image. So when you work in 3D, be aware of the items that are in your foreground, in the subject area or center of the frame, and then in the background. And when you have a dramatic 2D image, you'll know you have a fabulous 3D image. Let me show you one more really cool black and white shot that I did on the plantation here. This one's really cool. It's a gripping shot and I'd love to share it with you one day in 3D. You can share your 3D images with anybody who has any brand of 3D capable television. You can just send them the 3D file, they can view it on their TV and see the 3D experience. There are companies making 3D photographic prints, all because 3D is getting very popular and folks want to share it as easily and as often as they can. So I hope you get a chance to play with some 3D and make your images just that little bit more dramatic.